All right, well, welcome back to the channel. I'm just getting set up here, back for the Christmas walleye trip on the Upper Missouri River. And uh, it's just me doing a solo mission this morning. My brother Lucas is sick. I've got, uh, we're gonna be fishing in the small shack today. It's super cold out, it's like negative 10 outside. It's supposed to start warming up. A warm front's supposed to come in. Hopefully they'll start biting. So on my right here, I've got a dead stick on a, uh, with a three quarter ounce jig with a stinger and two minnows on it. And I'm, oh, looks like I'm already kind of getting a bite over there. And uh, so maybe the bite will be hot this morning. And then on the other other rod, I'm gonna actually be jigging that um, constantly and then just touch my dead stick every once in a while. So here we go. 10 minutes later. There we go, first fish. Nice one, all right. That was awesome. On the stinger, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful walleye. Nothing over on this one. Sweet. And I did not bring a pliers, but see if we can't uh, get this out without getting hurt. This toothy critter. There we go. We are on the board, dudes. On the freaking board. Perfect 18 incher right at the top of where we want to keep. Just like last trip, 15 to 18 inches. And that's where we're at in life. Nice! Another one! Sick! Sick! All right. Not a bad morning. Besides the heater, freaking heater won't really start. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks, but... Hey, we're getting some bites. As you can see, my breath here is super cold outside, but... Number two... go number three. Oh yeah another one sick. sick three there we go all right Pretty good morning, especially with no heat. That's the suckiest part. No freaking heat right now. As you can see, I'm just steaming this up, but we got three beautiful keepers on the ice here. Warms up so quick when I get that heater stain. Just stay on, bro. Please stay on. There we go. There's number four. Oh, if I didn't lose it at the ice, I did. Suck. Oh no, I still got it. There he comes. All right. Probably just at the short end of the keeper. Keeper slot here. It was just a baby one. I don't know, we'll have to see. Might make a sandwich. Pull out the bump board. 
Oh, come on, heater. You were killing it. Uh. Nope. 14. I'll get this one back. See you, dude. No problem. There we go, number four. Oh, unless it got stuck. No, oh, he's still there. There, pop through, holy cow. All right, that one is a keeper for sure. Barely got him on the freaking stinger. Stingers have been really critical this morning. That is for sure. I've caught every single one of them on that stinger. So you can tell when it's a short bite, you really need that out there. But beautiful up on Missouri River walleye. Some of the prettiest fish. Freaking one hand in it. I got one hand on the heater here. On the pilot light, because the pilot light keeps going out. Then the heater goes out. I just need one more for a limit. And I will be a happy camper, so. If the good Lord would just please bless me with one more, I will call it a day. We have got five, it's just that one was 14 inches and we're not keeping anything that small. Let it get bigger. Have some more babies, whatnot. So if we could just get one more, I would be happy. I would be a happy dude. There we go. Yep, number five. Stay alive, Mr. Saga. Mr. Saga. Look at that hook set, huh? You weren't coming off. No siree, Bob. No siree, Bob. And we had you on the stinger a little bit. He was hungry. Hungry little sogger boy. All right, so that's it. Morning to day one, limit. We got six to through the ice. Uh, we got five on the ice as keepers. Multi-species day, this is a sogger. So uh, we got four walleyes out there. We will see you tomorrow morning. The next morning. All right, welcome back to day two. Morning two, Lucas is still not with me. He's a little sick guy. I think he took too much Dayquil or something. Probably slept in a little bit. So it's just another little solo morning. And uh, I'm set up in the exact same spot, exact same time. This time we've got our bigger heater and the front door is even open on the shack here because it's nice and toasty. So we're gonna be fishing in perfect weather. It's like 15 degrees and there's a warm front coming in. So hopefully the bite is hot this morning. We'll see, here we go. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with. I have what I like to call a minnow bomb on. So I've got three minnows on and a three quarter ounce jig on this one tipped with a stinger. The stinger has been pretty money getting these walleyes uh, all the way up and caught. So <clears throat> on this one over here, I've got a half ounce, half ounce, not as glowy jig. It's still white and it will still glow, but we're gonna charge this one up and drop it back down. It's about 8.55 a.m. and uh the sun came up about 15 minutes ago so we're just just about the perfect timing it seems like it's about an hour hour and a half bite here in the mornings which is kind of nice and you can get on with your day but uh no bites yet One hour later. There we go, finally. 
Feels pretty good too. Oh yeah, nice one, awesome. Got one, finally, holy cow. One hour after sunrise and we finally got a Walter on the ice. Holy cow, I got church in one hour. I don't know if we're gonna get a limit before then, we'll see. Oh, beautiful Walter, beautiful Walter. Maybe the bite will turn on now. Missed him? Ah. Oh. I don't even know if there was anything there actually. Seems like there's leaves or something in this hole. Maybe. Let me show you what's going on with the weather. So right now it is 10 a.m. here and the barometer is at 29, but it's gonna drop to the lowest, honestly, in the middle of the day, middle of the afternoon. And the bite has been sucky. And then same thing at the middle of the day, it's supposedly supposed, the wind's supposed to die down a little bit. It kicked up right now. So, I'm wondering if it's actually a midday bite today, and they'll just slowly turn on, we'll see. Ooh. There we go, number two. See, maybe they'll turn on in the middle of the day here. Oh yeah, another one, yes, baby, yes. All right, and they're turning on. Hilarious, it must be with that barometer drop, look at that right in the lip perfect perfect hook set nice little nice little smack awesome beautiful beautiful upper missouri walleye check it out there we go there's number three finally oh yeah Ooh, I don't know if it's a keeper. That's pretty tiny. Shoot. I don't know if that's a keeper. That is a tiny one. Ooh, he's hooked too. Shoot. Oh. All right, just a little baby one. I'm gonna go put it on the bump board real quick outside and see if it's 15 inches. If it's not, we'll let it get back. All right, too tiny to keep. I'll get this one back. There he goes. See you, buddy. There we go. Can't be big. Oh, a shiner. And I got another one over here, I think. Nope, he just got caught up. Look at that piece of sh Look at this piece of crap trophy, trophy frickin' shiner. You suck, fish. The next morning. Got a bite? Yep, fish on! All right. Skunkies off the ice. Should be a bit easier to pull them through. A nice one? A little one. soggy. A little soggy. Little torpedo to start. I'll take him. Cool. Yeah, he looks over 15. 16, 17 maybe. Here. Yesterday, I finally had one of those, like I felt like I hit the top of his head. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He really bit it. Oh, 
Ooh, Ooh yeah. Nice Damn. fat one. All right, dude. On the stinger. On the old stingy boy. On the stingy boy. Jeez, big old shoulders on that sucker. Fish on? Oh, that's a good one, please. Ah! Right up, though. Oh, God. Oh, nice. Thank you for spitting it out. Hey, there you go. He's like, I know you don't have a pliers, guys. So here you go. Help you out a little bit. All right, and then he just kept going and then ah! one more time. And I just ah! gave him one. Got one? Yeah. There we go. So I gave him one right there. And he ran into the willow strip across. Another one. That's the same bite as that last one. Yeah, but the one that got away, the one that bit right after yours. Yeah. Yeah, he dropped it. I thought he dropped it again, but then he came back for it. So, uh, what are you thinking uh, on getting this on there again? I can, I can get the equipment out to you. Uh, I think we're going to try to get our gate cleared and all here uh, this morning. Yep. Oh, that one's pretty long. Well, so that yeah, sounds good. Right, I'll get back to it. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, bye. Bobby Boucher? Yeah. <laughs> sounds just like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <basically. laughs> That's pretty hilarious. Hey, so uh, would you guys, when would you guys be able to do it if you, if you uh, had to go over there, pick up that ESD, pick up the Marshall pump? The ESD valve or something? Yeah, yeah, just those ESDs that run off those uh, Marshall pumps, the hydraulic pumps. You don't want to flow them well. You ever done one? Barely a keeper. Yeah. One minute later. So just let me know and then I can do it. It'll probably be about an hour time once we tell them. So. That one feels better. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Hey, Oh, thank you for spitting it out, Mr. Walter. Oh, never mind. You didn't just a minute. Nice! Back to back, bro. Yeah. Three in back a row. to back, yeah. See, now I'm getting better hook sets. Yeah. I'm gonna check this. Seven, eh? Yep. Three more. Three more. We got her. Three more. Oh, okay. That one feels good. Oh, that feels big. That feels like something else. Ooh, that is moving some water, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Tim. Good. Dude. Sick. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Hey, you there, Tim? Beautiful. Sorry. Look at that I sucker. With my brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. He had a big old giant big ling old on there. I was like, we've been, we've been catching just walleye, and so I see his <laughs> can't get the <laughs> over there. I'm like, holy <laughs> walleye. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that uh, sucker. It's man. Big old ling, tasty, tasty. It must be a tasty sucker. Probably 30 inches. Close. 
Yeah. So, but yeah, that's all I was calling for, man. Was oh yeah, 31, 32. Get, uh, wow. See if we had anybody. Oh, there he is. Instant. Yeah, he's waiting there. There we go. Nice. There we go. Let me keep you. Just barely, huh? Just barely. Just a uh, just barely fish. I think. Let's see. No, oh, that one's 14. That one's too small. Yeah. The other one was above 14. Kept it. See you, buddy. Yeah. Oh. Hit another one. Hitting something down there. Oh, something biting. Yep. There he is. There we go. Oh, Piker! Jeez. You prick! Yeah. Multi-species day, Rukish. Yeah. It's gonna stir up the <coughs> fishes down there. Pike moved into there. <coughs> How long are you? I'll keep you. Why not? Ah! 22, not quite long enough, but... Oh, it popped off. That sucker popped off. Dang it. Just about the same. Why do Lance always get to catch a fish? Dang it, bro. I felt like a good one. Looks good. Was that a dead stick? Uh, kinda. I've just been tapping it, you know. A little bit. Shoot! I wonder what that was. Probably a catfish. Kinda felt walleye. Yep. I already got a guy on that. Okay. Yeah, let me see if we got uh, some places that need some water hauled. Damn it. Yeah, we'll do. Yep, yeah, I just, I, I didn't have any idea that we wouldn't have, have, <laughs> have plenty of water to be moved over there at that right. Limbig Beck. Because I even talked to Pat this morning and I said, yeah, I got that other truck. And I was I was asked to find another truck even for my supervisor, so right, right. and so I was like, so I don't know what's changed there. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's something for him. So all right, sounds good. Thanks, Ron. Right, thanks. Okay, bye. Come on, be down there. Over to you. Got him? Yep. All right, there's nine. Your call has been forwarded to an Ooh, automated voice heavy. messaging system. Caleb. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Number nine. Yep. Hey, how's it going, dude? Uh, oh, oh. Ah! Jiggled him. Come on. Still there? Yeah, a little bit. Got him? All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that son of a bitch. <laughs>
<laughs> giant. <laughs> giant. You see how fast it just came? Yeah. <laughs> I, I knew right away. Oh, oh. Just wanted that baby jiggle there, I gave it. <laughs> Beauty hook set though. Right to the nose, nice huh? Little walleye. Is it a walleye or yeah, a sauger? It's a walleye. Just a baby, huh? Yeah. Just a giant <laughs> little torpedo. Let's see, buddy. Later that day. Bite. Yep. Got him. Walter. Walter. All right. It's not a bad spot. <laughs> Lukish, you jerky. Mute. Oh, there we go. Link? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you know, brother? How did you know? See Another eel pouty. Being awkward with the hole. Yeah. You didn't just shoot up like a Walter. Right in the corner of the mouth. Cool. <sighs> Another eel fish. Oh, <laughs> uh, little suckers. You little suckers. Same kind of bite, too, like a little tick, tick, tick bite. Definitely different. That feels like a walleye, I think. Nope, another ling. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, fishing. Ling hole city. Yeah, I went and hung a sand. I think it was. Got him? See, you just gotta be on the phone every. <laughs> I was telling mom this morning. Ah, yeah. oh, Luke caught all of his fish on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> got a stick on it. <laughs> <laughs> Falling off too. <laughs> Is it? It's gotta be a ling. You feel like a linger? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gotta be a ling. We are in a ling hole. Oh yeah. We eat them things. Slime balls. Yeah? Yeah, Lance and I. Been eating them. In that little tiny square field right there. Jeez. God. The next morning. There we go. All right. No skunk on the last day. Oh, no. No, it popped off. You no. Oh, what a heartbreaker. 
Oh, I should have let him eat it more. I got too excited. Finally got a bite. Dang it. Dang it. That is a heartbreaker. Wow. That sucks. Oh, come on. Finally got a bite. Wow. Very dumb. It didn't feel too big. Pretty good though. Shoot! I was honestly shocked that there was a bite. Ah. I will take just one fish today. I mean, honestly, screw getting greedy. All right, well, welcome back to the last morning. We're gonna, on this Christmas trip, last time we were here was in Thanksgiving and fished this spot the whole time on Thanksgiving on a river, Upper Missouri River, and we got skunked. So I finally just had a bite there. It's about 20 minutes after sunrise. Barometer pressure just completely steady, straight line across. So, you know, if they're going to bite, I guess now's the time. We finally just got that one bite. And I didn't even get to see it underneath the hole. Got it right up to the bottom of the hole, even with a good hook set and nothing. Flopped off. So this morning I will be happy, believe it or not, if we just end the video with one good walleye. But we'll see. We've got about 90 more minutes maybe two hours of fish it's about 9 6 a.m and the bite here has been dying at about 10 30 a.m so we're gonna see what we can get and uh man that took a long time i have been fishing for probably if i look at the camera here about an hour and we've only gotten that one freaking bite shoot Yeah, let's not do any additional hours. Oop. There we go. Now the bite's on. Come on, don't come off, sucker. Yes! Yes! No skunk! No skunk, boys! No skunk! Here we go, baby! Here we go! Yes! That is all I freaking wanted. Was no skunk. Hooked him right through the nose. Perfect hook set on this old Walter. I will give you guys a look. We are not ending this trip on a skunk. We are ending this trip on a high note. Look at that beautiful boy. Beautiful, 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 beautiful Walters. Awesome. Unless... Oh, what was that? Another... Oh, oh, got it by hand here. What the heck? Oh, wow, right in the side? What the heck was that? What a weird hook set. Look at that. Look at that. Fat little chunker, too. What the heck? Right in the side of the gill. Oh, my goodness. I actually hand lined it up. And I thought my freaking rod broke, or uh, the line broke. That was goofy. We'll take it. All right, not a bad morning. Not a bad morning at all. Now she's heating up. It's about five minutes after that first one. We just caught that second one, big fat one. Huge shoulders on that sucker. Gosh, what a cool fish. Let's see if we can catch it every five minutes. All we need is 15 more minutes here. and Wham! We got our North Dakota limit. And that will be the trip. Fantastic. 
The thing about this spot is, is I thought like, it's kind of a, uh, I'll show you, I'll pull it up on the, on the screen here is, <clears throat> basically we're fishing, we're fishing where out of an oxbow lake, um, that's mostly cut off from the upper Missouri river here. It flows into the lake sometimes and then flows out. Right now it's probably flowing out since the river is lower and, uh, it's, it's an awesome spot for like bait fish to congregate and, uh, kind of our go-to when I, when I go up here, but it's not a big area. So my theory is, is that if you, if you fish it more than, this will be our fifth morning in a row that we're fishing it. This is kind of the limit for this spot. And then, you know, you've kind of taken care of a bunch of the schools. So I'm trying to prove that wrong a little bit here. Two through the ice, should have had three. I don't know what happened to that first one. Something. Should have had that one too. Well, that is gonna do it for us. I hope you liked this episode of Fishing with Lance. If you like this episode, you know what to do. Leave me a positive comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next fishing adventure.